Hi guys, we're back here at Elena Rao, helping founders and professionals turn into leaders. I'm uh, Armin Rao and I'm here to make you a better manager. Today I will share an important aspect of managing your business with you, which is dealing with your shareholders, especially when problems come up. Before I begin, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and then turn out, uh, also on notifications to always get my newest videos. If you are leading your company or your team, some issues with your shareholders are bound to come up. Several problems can occur when the fit is not right, when you don't really match. Number one, the trust between you and your shareholders may diminish over time. That is a problem that often occurs, for what reason whatsoever. Number two, you and your shareholders cannot seem to agree on a common strategy for the company that can also lead to problems. Number three, the shareholders exert too much pressure on you and your team, another common problem. And number four, for example, they block any kind of decisions or uh, getting further money. Whenever these situations come up, there are a few possible ways uh, to solving them and I will share three of them with you right now. The first approach that you can take is if you feel like your shareholders do no longer fit with you and your company, you may try to get them to sell their shares. In this case, however, you might run into a follow-up problem because the risk remains that your new shareholders will not be any better. I saw this in a company with some 500 employees where the CEO did not get along with the founder and major shareholder who by then had become a non-executive. He convinced the founder to sell to a big company that completely changed the strategy after the takeover which led to the result that the CEO was pushed out by his own executive team. Number two. Um, to deal with your shareholders, you may also try to manage your existing shareholders better than before. If you are interested in this method, make sure to check out my video on managing stakeholders. You can find the link uh, in the upper right corner right now. And the third approach, uh, the third option is to find a middle ground between option one and option two. You can exchange some of your existing shareholders and try to get through to a few of them, to the others and convince them of their way. If you can make this happen this is a good way to move forward however it is important to carefully weigh the effort needed um, to get the rewards in my experience strategy number two is the strategy that works best just live with the realities of the current shareholder structure and manage it and by the way that's your job if you liked this video make sure to give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel leave a comment with feedback if you liked it uh, i will respond personally to all of your comments thanks for watching see you next week and don't forget lead yourself <laughs>